they've been passed in a way that they are now part of, uh, of an overall motion that still has to have its empowering motion approved, and that's motion number two. Uh, and that motion number two says uh, to direct that United Church policies and actions in relation to Israel and Palestine reflect the content of the report. So on Friday, we will come back for that final uh, uh, debate on, on, uh, on point number two. I know that there are uh, individuals uh, in the court who have concerns about some content of the report that hasn't been reflected in the recommendations. And so on Friday, they will raise those concerns. And uh, part of that will be a question of whether or not the report itself uh, should have further editing. Uh, so we are in a process of still <laughs> debating the main report. I think, though, it is fair to say um, that the mind of the General Counsel appears very clear. And the mind of the General Counsel appears supportive of the main recommendations of the report, 3 through 13. Among those recommendations um, are the most critical ones that, uh, that has created the most controversy. Uh, that, uh, that the uh, a church initiate a campaign against uh, settlement products or, and identify the settlements and the occupation as a primary cause of, uh, of un injustice in the region. So while it's possible to say that the mind of the council has clearly affirmed the major content of the report, there is still one final piece that has to happen on Friday that will involve some debate and that might change some things and I can't tell you how it might do that, um, but on Friday we'll come back to it again. Mm -hmm.